using the graph shown to determine a possible equation of the function as p of u, meaning the input variable is u, not x. Looking at the graph, we should be able to recognize the equation is going to be in terms of cotangent or tangent. Let's begin by sketching the vertical asymptotes. We have x equals zero, x equals six, and x equals negative six. Now let's focus on one piece of the graph. Let's focus on the interval from zero to six, which is this piece of the graph here. Now let's divide this interval into four equal subintervals. If we cut it in half, we have x equals three, Cut each half and half on the left. We have x equals 1.5 and x equals 4.5 on the right. Now analyzing the behavior of this piece of the graph, to the left it approaches positive infinity, to the right it approaches negative infinity, and this piece of the function is always decreasing, and therefore we should recognize this resembles the graph of the basic cotangent function shown here. So let's focus on one piece of the basic cotangent function to help us determine a possible function for the given graph. Let's sketch the vertical asymptotes at x equals zero, x equals pi. Let's cut this interval into four equal subintervals. So we have x equals pi over two, x equals pi over four, and x equals three fourths pi. And now let's focus on these three key points in the middle here, here, and here. Notice the point in the middle falls on the midline. So if we go back to our graph, the point in the middle is this point here, where the ordered pair is three comma two, which means for this graph, the midline is y equals two. And therefore this indicates the graph is shifted up two units, and therefore c is equal to positive two. And now going back to the basic cotangent function, notice at pi over four, the point is one unit above the midline, and at three-fourths pi, the point is one unit below the midline. So if we go back to our graph, notice how at x equals 1.5, the point is here where the y-coordinate is five. The ordered pair for this point is 1.5 comma five, and this point is not one unit above the midline, it's actually three units above the midline, which means we have a vertical stretch by a factor of three, and therefore a is equal to positive three. Also notice how at x equals 4.5, the y-coordinate is negative one, this ordered pair is 4.5 comma negative one, and this point is three units below the midline. Again, verifying, we have a vertical stretch by a factor of three. So now we know a and c, we still need to find b and d, where pi divided by b is equal to the period, and our period is equal to six. So to find b, we set up the equation, pi divided by b is equal to six. To solve for b, we multiply both sides by b. Simplifying, we have pi is equal to six b, divide both sides by six. Simplifying, we have b equals pi over six, if we want one sixth pi. And now for d, d indicates a horizontal translation or phase shift, but because the vertical asymptote of this piece is along the y-axis, just like the basic cotangent function, which we see here, there is no horizontal or phase shift, and therefore d is equal to zero. And now we have all the information we need to write a possible function for the given graph. Remember the function is p of u. So we have p of u is equal to a times cotangent, which is three times cotangent, of b times the quantity x minus d, where b is one sixth pi. And then we're using u, not x. u minus d is u minus zero, which just gives us u. And then we have plus c, where c is two, giving us plus two. This is one possible function that will give us the given graph. I hope you found this helpful.